Hello viewers, today I'm talking about multi-tenant application. So we have POS system, which is a web application. So we uh, previously released advanced POS system using single tenant. So we update our application as advanced POS system with the multi-tenant architecture. So this is the login screen. And if I log in as a super admin user, uh, that user can manage entire application with all tenants tenant user details so so this is the basic uh, application uh, so before starting with details let me give you just uh, what is a multi-tenant actually so multi-tenant architecture is uh, actually so one uh, single instance application using the multiple tenants so for uh, this is uh, good for the maintaining and cost uh, optimization and uh, also managing the lot of uh, tenants from the single code base and uh, so you don't have to update every time a tenant to tenant uh, requirements so that's why it's multi-tenant architecture is uh, pretty good and uh, from the database perspective so uh, uh, if, if we if multi-tenant can have three different options uh, database pre-tenant and schema pre-tenant and the shared database uh, shared schema so we have uh, just implement a single database so uh, this application will have just single database and a <clears throat> tenant will be have a unique key so based on the key or id so uh, tenant data will be separated so if you log in as a tenant a then you definitely will have the tenant a data not the tenant b or c data so and this is the asp.net core uh, .NET is, is sdk 6.0 and this is code fast we, we have used for entity framework core so uh, let me just give you the complete overview how tenant uh, uh, architecture is working and what we have implemented in our application so uh, once uh, i run this project or you run this project using the latest code base then uh, project will dynamically create the database and all table and all the required data same time uh, system will create uh, like uh, tenant related uh, separate uh, uh, drop down data as well so i'm just logging again as a as admin user uh, so that i can give you the basic overview so uh, we have a like core feature like post system uh, manage, managing cell and post system i will uh, i will uh, i will uh, present uh, later one by one and so before uh, the uh, details i'm just uh, presenting like tenant tenant settings so if I go to the tenant settings, so by default we have uh, tenant A and tenant B, and admin tenant. These are the user can uh, act, can manage entire tenant applications. So all the so you can manage the all tenant users. So if I go to the tenant user, then all you can you can check all the tenant user here. Also, you have a drop down option like admin tenant have a default six user and tenant A have some user and tenant B have some user. So just one user so uh tenant a so we have just a seven to twelve user tenant a and uh, if i log out and log in as a tenant a user then you we can see the difference so tenant a and password is one two three so tenant a have the all the um, feature of this application except the tenant setting so if we go to the manage user then definitely we have uh, like a 7 to 12 user as i mentioned earlier so and if we go to the uh, items so tenant a don't have any item just i'm creating a test item uh, test item and the percentage is at one percentage cost price i'm putting just a random number price and quantity is 600 let's say 600 quantity category oh so we have to create the category and supplier name for this tenant uh, code is like something safe so item created successfully so we have just one item for tenant a and if i log out and copy and log in as a tenant super admin tenant then definitely we don't have just one item which is 26 default item 
okay fine so i just uh, i will create a new fresh tenant and uh, i'll go step by step test tenant test tenant email address est test at the red gmail .com. password one two three four five six and one two three four five six yes dvd safe so tenant profile is created successfully so we have a test uh tenant i'm just copying this email address so that i can log in and if i go to the test uh, tenant user then we have a like new user test tenant and you can manage the page access so all the page except the tenant setting tenant settings not showing for this user uh, yeah i'm just a log a log out and uh, going to be login as a new tenant user test tenant uh, password one two three four five six so as i mentioned so this uh, tenant can access full application except the tenant setting tenant setting can only can access the uh, super admin who is managing the entire application so if i go to the manage item so definitely i don't have any item as a new fresh tenant i have to create item so uh, test item zero two at part sentence one cost price like us say three 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 quantity let's say four 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 and uh, just putting the barcode four zero one two three random barcode so you have a barcode as well save so for tenant a uh, sorry for tenant test uh test tenant we have just one item and if we go to the main feature of this application like pause then <clears throat> what we have just one item we can create using this uh, item like uh, update the quantity checkout so this is the invoice <clears throat> and if i uh, like full paid then full paid will be done save so invoice has been created successfully so here's the invoice and we can print the invoice as well so this is the test uh, tenant invoice so a tenant or b cannot see uh, cannot able to see this uh, invoice because uh, this uh, <clears throat> this uh, information only available for uh, the tenant uh, so as i explaining so tenant uh, test tenant uh, invoice cannot uh, able to see other tenants so let me just uh, uh, go to the other tenant uh, uh, user login so if i log out and log in as a uh, let's say tenant b and uh, login so tenant b to uh, total invoice everything is showing zero and uh, if we go to the invoice then definitely we don't have any invoice for tenant b so for operating this application uh, with full feature with full features i'm just login uh, as a super admin so that we can have a lot of uh, option uh, like uh, default data in the pause uh, we have uh, 26 items as default you can search like categories wise fruits daily daily products and beverages and you can select item from here <clears throat> and uh, check out as well and uh, save so you can create the invoice and also we have the item chart uh, so all the item is showing here and uh, with the, the designation you can select and also here is the chart you can customize and change the quantity as well from here also the create chart so i'm just creating chart so it's showing zero so this is the pause uh, main feature of this application and from the invoice you can create invoice manually i'm just creating another invoice so this uh, tenant have a 26 items so uh, that's why it's showing a lot of item here 
I'm just selecting Marton quantity like force and I'm just selecting another item like tomato and quantity is uh, three add items and if you check, click the full page then uh, full page uh, will be performed and uh, transaction have a uh, separate uh, partial uh, payment option so you can pay like uh, some amount and later you can pay uh, the rest of amount so customer notes previous note you can add the note as well so we have just create another invoice uh, for super admin and you can print the invoice as well and in the tenant setting so you we have uh, create a new tenant from here and managing the tenant and also from the tenant user you can manage enter application tenant user and uh, you have the option a uh, drop down to, for uh, uh, tenant user filtering so we have uh, also the option for creating tenant uh, api so using the rest api you can create tenant and update tenant uh, details as well so this is uh, the very basic of uh, multi-tenant application so if i give you all the technical overview what uh, we have uh, implement what we have used for this uh, project so uh, sp.net code 6.0 and uh, database is ms sql server and uh, front end we have used razor and most of the and data table most of the uh, grid view basically and page ignition searching sort sorting we have used a jquery data table and for tenant management we have a uh, different service for tenant tenant service using their service we, we basically we're managing the tenants and uh, so tenant architecture is summary we have just a single database and one database and uh, sharing the each tenant and uh, we uh, one instance is for each tenant, tenant. So if you uh, if you are interested in this application and you can contact with me, I, I will uh, give you the entire code base with latest codes, latest code and also the guideline how you can run the project and also the free technical support if you face any difficulties. Also, I will give you that uh, code base details. So I just open uh, using the visit vs code here is the code architecture uh, so i'm just running this project from vs code and we have the controller and the model and here is the view model and the model for application and the view for the front end and the, in the ww road we have <clears throat> for each uh, each view have a jquery, javascript uh, or jquery function jquery function nodes and we have a service and uh, we're using the service like we are managing uh, tenant operation and send email uh, create new user and other um, um, other common application common operation for this <laughs> application and the app setting.json we have like uh, multiple uh, database support so this application is supported like mysql sql server and also postgresql and uh, uh, one of the important uh, another feature is this application is uh, supported uh, like uh, audit trail so uh, you can uh, you can check the uh, app, uh, all application all operation like uh, system settings after create an update operation into the audit trail audit log basically so here you can check the tenant wise uh, audit log so this is the audit log for uh, so far admin user and uh, this is the overall summary so if i summarize uh, this application uh, this is uh, basically a post system uh, web-based post system using sp.net code 6 uh, this is the code first, code first application and we have used entity framework core and database is ms sql server if you want you can use different database like mysql or uh, postgresql as well and for uh tenant uh, and for tenant uh, multi-tenant implementation uh, so if you are interested then you are always welcome to uh, 
communicate with me, then I can give you the detailed overview from the code phase uh, so that you can get the total uh, application details idea. So this is the code uh, project uh, from the Visual Studio code. You can run this project from VS Visual Studio. Uh, VS. I'm just running from the code from VS Code, so you can run this project from the Visual Studio as well. Uh, so I'm just uh, uh, summarize and closing this video. So uh, and this application also the multi multi language supported, and uh, here is the multi language supported. And if I switch to English, then it is move to the English language. So oh, this is the, the overall summary for multi-tenant POS system. So uh, one application, but uh, this application is can support for multiple tenants. So thank you for watching. If you are interested, so I will share the live URL so that you can check that for, from live and you can always contact with me. So hopefully uh, if, we, if you are interested and uh, if we, we have a good deal, then I will share the complete project so that you can uh, use this project. Thank you. See you in the next video.